I feel like a lot of people are like, mm -hmm. gotta go fast, gotta sleep fast, gotta fast, fast, fast. Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? I'm going to be a little bit over here this week. Don't question it. Okay. I'm in a comfy spot. My leg is literally up on my desk. I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't know how to describe it to you, but let me tell you, <laughs> I'm comfortable. I'm not moving. It's the first day of fall. I might cry. We don't have to talk about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. How are y'all? How are you doing? How is everything? Did we finish our goal setting? Did we, did we think about goals and intentions for the new year? Because you already know, I want to talk about it. You already know the next two episodes, probably more. <laughs> um, yeah. Did y'all think about it? What'd you think about? What, 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 what's on your mind? I want to know. I want to know. Other than that, y'all, there's not a lot going on. I do still want to try the, 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 <laughs> the going fast. Go, gotta go, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta sleep fast. Gotta fast, fast, fast. That's what I want to try this week and all the weeks until I, do, I just said that it's not a good tactic. I'll talk about my goals because I had a day. Ryan and I had a day where we like sat. We sat. We sat. That's a lie. We didn't sit. We did sit. We were in, <laughs> we were in bed and we were like, it's goal setting night. And we literally had like, that was our activity for the night was setting goals and sharing with each other. Such Capricorn activities, am I right? Capricorn sun over there. Capricorn cap, cap rising right here. <laughs> Anyways, it was, it was uh, lovely. And I finally got my vision board done and I got all of my like goal setting. And I also do like script, like a form of scripting. At least I did it last year. And so I wanted to do it again this year. But if you don't know what that is, it's like kind of, it's like manifesting, but being really specific and kind of like scripting out basically what you know will happen and i use the words no because like that's how you have to like think about it is you know that this is going to happen it's something you want to happen but like you know that this will happen and so you're scripting it like as if it's already happened as if it's like the truth right so you're like i did this and i did this and this happened and this happens and this is going to happen kind of thing. And if you want to get like really into the weeds, you can do like exactly like as if it's a journal entry from the future when this thing has already happened and like thinking about how you feel and you know, if you're, you know, grateful or excited or relieved or all these things like you're journaling about the feelings when this thing is happening or has happened or whatever. That's something that I did last year and it was, I think it's just a really good practice. I, like I know a lot of the, the, the spiritual girlies talk about you know manifesting and things like that but for me it's it's more like just intention setting and it's a way to set intentions and goals that like you just believe to your core like it's a good practice in like believing in yourself and not stressing about the path or the journey or like the outcome if it's going to happen you can just like fully believe in yourself and tell yourself that it's going to happen and then all you have to do is worry about kind of how to get there or like not even you don't even worry about how to get there you just like take the steps that feel right to you because like in your head you already have this thing i don't know if that makes sense but like for me it's less of a like oh you're putting this wish into the universe and the in the like magic of the universe is handing it to you it's not that for me it's like it's a subconscious thing it's like you subconsciously already having accepted it as a fact so then like making the choices subconsciously to bring you there if that makes any sense at all which is is just another way to look at like manifesting i think like i think people who like believe believe in the kind of like magic of the manifesting are also saying that but just in a different way anyways anywho that is one of the practices that i do so i both goal set and then i do like manifesting scripting type things but like not super in depth just like one-liners of of various things so i have like a financial one a career one and then like a personal one so i won't go into those because those are like very personal and specific but i will talk about my general goals because i feel like some of them are exciting and like hopefully can give you ideas is. I'll start with the most exciting, which is why was this one not? I know this is gonna mess everything up, but I, it's bothering me. Sorry. Okay, I didn't even do the animal stuff. The animal stuff. I didn't do it. Oh, and I got materials to make more casks, kegs every time. And I'd sell it and sew it. 
so let me do it right now. I have to fully focus or I simply will get distracted and walk around petting my animals forever while we talk about goals. We're finally good on that. It's a Monday. Okay, let me check the kegs. Checking the kegs, checking the kegs. Okay, so, oh, we're just out of wood. Okay, we have a lot of the other things. We just need wood. Why do I feel like we keep having wood sort of shortages late game? I feel like that just isn't normally the thing for me. I feel like I'm normally stocked in wood. I guess because we've been making so many barn upgrades. Well, now that we're a chopping, we can talk about goals. Actually, let me pull them up because I will not, I simply will not remember without a reference. Okay, so my different categories are career, finances and investing, entertainment, body and mind, relationships, and then education and learning. So I won't go into like specifics on some of them because again, like I said, a little bit personal, even for us. I know we share everything, but some things y'all. I would say my main theme for career and just like content creation in general is more community building. Community building and delegation is something I really want to work on for my, my career, my content work and stuff because I think community is really important and I think in a lot of ways I focus on community a lot this year and then in other ways I neglected community so for instance like I focused a lot on community on YouTube you know finding new ways to like connect with you guys on here like doing the cozy corner and things like that and then like just in, in my vlogs my other videos and stuff like really connecting with my community by like speaking personally and being vulnerable and things like that like I've I focused a lot on community on YouTube because I don't like making content on YouTube unless it feels like there's a community you know sometimes I resent some platforms because it feels like screaming into a void like sometimes TikTok feels a little bit like that to me and I like love creating on Instagram because it feels like I see the same people commenting and I'm like yeah and <laughs> I I don't know I just it feels like posting to friends and like talking with friends and like updating friends and like TikTok sometimes can feel like that but sometimes it feels like posting into a void and then like random people find my videos and they're like asking me questions like that all of y'all know or you know things like that and I'm like who, I, who is this I'm glad you're here now but like where are my friends at <laughs> and so I think focusing on community more in platforms that I neglected this year because it like I just kind of accepted the fact that or I don't know I just got was complacent with the fact that community wasn't there in when I could have been like working on it and building it myself and so if that's for me for me that's tiktok and it's twitch like twitch i definitely feel a sense of community and that like i love when i recognize people and there's, there's definitely like regulars and i love that and i love someone telling us something and then coming back and it's like oh my gosh do you have an update like we can talk about it like there are definitely people in my twitch community that make me feel like it's a community but i think at the end of the year it started to like get bigger and like i started to gain more viewers and one i didn't know why but i was like you know I'm not gonna question anything and then two it was like it felt like my core community was still there but then there was like this whole other group of people that were kind of just like all of a sudden there and not part of the community so it made me feel a little bit weird it made me feel a little bit like i didn't know who i was making content for i didn't know who like i was creating this day-to-day -day community for and with twitch that's really hard because you're really vulnerable since it's live and like we talk about a lot of dumb stuff and joke about a lot of dumb stuff and we're just like really vulnerable so i just felt a little bit of a disconnect which i think made me almost be less vulnerable and be less myself on stream and just like enjoy stream a little bit less so that's kind of what was happening with twitch like recently in recent times like in the past kind of three four months which you know could also be a self-sabotage thing i don't know i'll have to unpack that but just generally i think i want to figure out more ways to create community and engage with community in a way that both is adding value to my community and like you guys and makes me feel comfortable and happy with like the content that i'm making and the spaces that i'm creating so that's my overall goal there's a lot of like little goals in between and like unrelated goals but that's my overall goal for content slash career and then oh and then delegation is another huge one because i've been tracking my time lately which i highly recommend if you're somebody who's kind of like a workaholic either actually either end of the spectrum if you're someone who's a workaholic and you are like maybe not in denial about it but like you're a workaholic who tells yourself that like yeah i'm a workaholic but like if i worked less i would be less efficient or like i wouldn't be as successful as i am or whatever like if you're a workaholic who gives yourself justifications or if you're a workaholic who like is in denial on the other end of the spectrum if you feel just kind of like you 
don't know how to re- like regulate your time and like you aren't spending enough time on things that you wish you could be spending time on tracking time has been a game changer for me i've been doing it for the past like almost two weeks and i didn't think to do it because tracking time is something that i did as a lawyer like you have to do that for billable hours and so i had like trauma from tracking hours like you literally had to track every single like second of work that you were doing so that you could like bill it so after like af- after quitting i was like i'm never touching like tracking time tracking things ever again but recently I was like I need to see how I'm spending my time so that I can like improve it make it more efficient and actually have more time for myself because that's one of my main goals for the new year is having more time for myself and not working so damn much because it's work that I love most of it is work that I love doing a lot of it is like busy work logistics administrative stuff that I don't like doing nobody likes doing that stuff but a lot of it is work that I like doing so that I'm like well why why wouldn't I just be doing all the time I could just be productive all the time because is technically topics that I like, but we've already talked about how that's a slippery slope. So tracking my time is making, is forcing me to look at what I do each week and be like, girly pop, you are like actively working. Even if it's not in your head, even if you're like doing work that you enjoy. (laughs) Girly pop, you're still working from like, I'm looking at one day, 7.30 to 9 p.m. Like straight. And then through the weekends, like everybody needs day off of something, even if it's stuff you like doing. Right. What do I need for for more? Cast kegs, kegs, copper bar, iron bar, oak. Re- okay, so I uh, I need to wait for oak resin anyways, but I'm gonna go get some copper and iron. Yeah, y'all. I'm ch- I know I'm chatting a lot about myself, but I hope that <laughs> I hope that some of this can be applied to you. Like I, this isn't just content creator. It's like also if you're self-employed, if you work for yourself, or if you work for someone else, but you just like put in so much time because you have lofty goals or you feel like you know you have to because you're a people pleaser (laughs) whatever it is having a kind of uh what would you call this like not really accountability but just like objective view of what of like the work you're putting in sometimes is a good wake-up call I think that's what I was looking for. It's a good wake up call to be like, is this actually because because maybe you look at it and you're like this. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I'm getting enough personal time. I'm getting enough whatever, even if it's like five hours a a week and you're like, I'm okay with that. Whatever works for you, bestie. But other times, most of the time, I think you're going to look at it and be like, oh, my God, (laughs) because that's what I did. I was like, oh, my God. God, when are you doing things? Like, when are you, ha- when do you have time for yourself, bestie? Hey, bestie, what are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, basically, just like the stuff we talked about the past couple of playthroughs of like designated time for yourself. This is just another way to like really, really, really keep it consistent make it make yourself accountable for that by looking at the hours you're actually spending a week and a day on work versus on personal stuff and if say you're like a student or you're whatever and you're like yeah yeah yeah, i'm i'm getting the work i'm i'm doing enough work i'm doing enough work and then you actually look at it and you're like, you're really not that's also another kind of wake-up call so it's been great i use toggle it's free it's t-o-g-g-l there's like a chrome extension there's an actual like desktop app there's a website and there's a like phone app so I just use all of them all the time and right now I'm doing I'm tracking like my actual work and my personal time so that I can like see but I think in the future I'm just gonna do only work and then you can like split it up into different projects so I have it split up from like administrative stuff YouTube Instagram TikTok brand submissions stuff like that and then you can put tags also so i have like more specific tags so that you can look at the analytics and you can see like okay how much time am i spending on youtube but like editing with youtube and then like how much am i spending on brand submit you know like things like that my overall point with this god this girl can chat my overall point with this was that i one of my goals for my career and my work stuff in 2024 is delegation because i realize i spend anywhere from like 12 to 20 hours a week on editing my youtube videos not even that's not even counting like filming and stuff yeah so over 20 hours a week on youtube in general that's like including filming and editing like over 20 hours minimum and that's just inefficient that's just like straight up inefficient for me as a creator who has other platforms and like technically my main platforms are other platforms spending 20 plus hours a week on that just doesn't it doesn't make sense when like i could technically could delegate 
create. Like there are certain things I have to do, like the filming process, but I don't have to do all of the editing. And that's what takes like a chunk of most of the time. So yeah, you guys, that's what I've learned. And that's what like tracking my time has helped me learn. So if there's something that like also in your personal life, if you're looking around and you're like, I spend X amount of time cleaning. I spend X amount of time like cooking. And you know, if it's something that you're not getting deriving joy out of, freaking delegate it if you can, if you can, if you can. That's something that I think is really hard for me as a as a like perfectionist control freak kind of person. It's like, no, I have to do it. I have to do it exactly how I want it done and stuff like that. And it took me, uh, I think a full year was it, Eddie, for me to finally delegate like Stardew editing stuff to you. And then like Eddie was also editing my game like roundup videos when I was doing those. And it, it was like one of the hardest things to do was just like hand it over and be like, okay, like I trained you. I like told you what I want. And like now i'm trusting you to like execute and then like of course eddie is the best ever thank god but also just like learning that it's gonna be okay sometimes you get to hand things over it's gonna be okay and like it's not the end of the world if it's not exactly to a t how you want it to be and then even if it's not you can just communicate and it can be easily adjusted like yeah so that is one of my goals for 2024 anyways is delegation moving on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, selling these, selling all this. 21? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's amazing. I'm just gonna sell these. I don't care, you guys. Sometimes I just, I can't be bothered. I can't. Okay, still chugging along there. How are we doing over here? Still chugging along. Okay. I gotta check on Ginger Island. I really do. I gotta check. Yeah, delegation and and just in terms of like efficiency, <laughs> I'm not thinking of it in terms of like, oh, then I have more time for myself. I'm thinking of it in terms of efficiency so that I can work more efficiently, which maybe I should, uh, you know, reframe that reasoning for my delegation. But I'm not really thinking of it as like, oh, then I'd have 20 plus free hours a week to do stuff for myself no i'm like oh now i have 20 plus hours of the week that i could spend but really it, whatever it is it's still valid like i if i had 20 plus hours a week to like add to other work stuff like who you the things you could do with 20 hours are you kidding me 20 hours like that that used to be all i had to work on content back when i was working 50 60 hours full time a week i only had 20 hours in a week <laughs> imagine anyways that's delegation. Next is entertainment. One of the things, my biggest, biggest, biggest thing this year is is reading physical books. Not because I think there's a difference between re reading physical books and, and audiobooks. It's that I personally want to annotate in my books and hold a book journal, have a book journal, keep up a book journal. So I got a little like book journal for that reason. <laughs> because I want, I just want to like, I was talking about this in my vlog. So if you watch the vlogs, apologies for the redundancy. But I want to exercise like the critical thinking part of reading because I think a lot of the time I just freaking like consume and forget. And I think with the books I've been reading, that's fine. It's like smutty romance, <laughs> you know, whatever books. But even with those, you can really critique them. You can get down and dirty with them and, and unpack certain things with the characters and the writing style and all of that. And just like critically think about the media you're, you're consuming. I just think that's a good practice and just one of the ways I want to prevent my brain from going to mush because I mean it already is but like one of the ways I want to keep my brain from going any mushier than it already is uh because I I don't have any goals of like consuming less short form content or anything like that I don't I don't really care I I like my short form content I think I gain a lot of value out of consuming short form content especially like with news and things like that so I that's not something I ever really want to limit and I think I personally have like a really good limit on it right now so it's not even about that it's just about like I want my brain to engage in other things sometimes <laughs> not just like listening 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 and then like distraction distraction listening listening you know I just wanted to think a little bit I wanted to think a little bit get it get it get it moving and grooving and I think like lately I was talking to Maya Maya and I were just having a long like hour-long conversation about something or other and I just like kept not being able to think of words like words very simple words I just like couldn't think of them it took me forever to think of what the word I was trying to think of was and I was like something's amiss here like something's wrong something is very wrong something's wrong and I think at the time I was like actually burnt out and that that's what the issue was but it also made me think like I don't uh think about new vocab words there's nothing that's like 
there's nothing I'm like really learning these days. Then I went into like a whole other spiral about like how I should be consuming more content that's like educational in some way or another, or just like consuming something new and novel, if you will. <laughs> just a little bit more like mentally stimulating. On top of the completely frou-frou stupid content that I will keep consuming because I love it. I can pull it out from my cold dead hands. There's ain't nothing wrong with, with brainless content, you hear me? But I also want to consume some non-brainless content, is my only point. That was a lot of, of picking that we were doing. So my goal is 30 plus books this year, because my goal this year was 30 books, and I don't know if I'm going to hit it. I have how many days left? 11 days left of the year, and I would need to finish nine books. I'm so close, but I just don't think that, that realistically it's going to happen. So I didn't hit my goal this year because I was, I like ch all of the books from the 20 books that I read were like in the past four months. I think I read like three f or four books before that. So I was just like ch ch ripping through them at the, at the end of this year because I think I was just in a better space mentally i don't know i don't know what's going on but anyways my, my reading goal is not going to be anything crazy next year it's just going to be 30 again but hopefully over 30 and then i specifically want to make at least 10 percent of those physical books so that i can annotate and journal and analyze and uh, yada 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 all of that so just brain sti yes okay brain stimulation in general and then watch more movies and finish more shows because again okay shows and movies are valuable too i feel like a lot of people are like mm -hmm, you, 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 you. <laughs> i'm sorry if this is how you what you think but i just don't agree like i think media is can be so 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 valuable like visual media so like shows and movies and a lot of people are like mm, it's 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 brain mush content i just don't think so i think there's some that teach you lessons and make you feel things and inspire you and all of these things in different ways just like games and just like books okay i just i i whatever and i have consumed so little new shows and movies this year and i just really want to um change that these have got to come out soon but i'm gonna wait to fill those up until this one comes out because i think i said that i was gonna do that so we'll wait so that's just another goal i think i'll probably make a list in the new year of just like movies that i want to watch yeah okay i think that's that finances and investing is just like refining my budgeting tracking process and continuing what i've been doing so it's not really anything crazy body and mind continuing the one one a week movement activities outside of the house Woo! just continuing that because i like it i think it works for me and then like throughout the year if i can boost it up to two that's great but then my main thing is like increasing the inside of the house movement things that i do so like one to two a week of like inside yoga stretching mobility things like that walking i think i'm gonna get a walking pad so that i can just like a little bit more movement inside of the house and then nutrition i've been doing better with my human kibble you guys it's been so helpful so i've been better at nutrition but like at least two big nutritious meals a day and then the last one can kind of be like scrounging taco bell or something like that and then like water and greens every day vitamins every day and then body care i want to try some like laser treatments like laser hair removal just like new hygiene treatments body treatment not hydrating like body treat treatments because i just don't do them I don't do them. I don't particularly like them, but I also don't really try them. So I don't do them and I'd like to try some because it could make life easier. I hate shaving my armpits. So if I can make that go away, I'd love that. And I only shave my armpits because I am a sweaty girl. Okay. It's not a really an a, a aesthetic thing. It's just, I just, I'm sweaty girl and the hair makes it worse. Okay. It does for me and more pedicures that's another one more pedicures i want to take care of my feet a little bit more yeah not like super regular just more i didn't get a single pedicure this year so like at least one would be nice relationships just like more intentional time and like more time for new friends and stuff education and learning this is the last category and it's just like more intentional learning so like i have a skillshare membership and i don't use it oh i need i need to i need to yeah your girl just does not use does not use it vocabulary practice i want to like i found this like vocab 
website that sends you a vocab word. I think it's like literally called vocabulary.com. It sends you a new vocab word every day and it's kind of nice. <laughs> it's kind of nice. But I also found this book. It's like 100 vocab words like you should know. And I put that on my Amazon wish list for my family. Yeah, let me see what the vocab word was for today. Yeah, it's called vocabulary.com. Today's word was trusulent. Tr trusulent. Trusulent, which I did not know. I think that the word before I knew, but this word, I didn't know. It, which is a, it's a fantastic word. If you are quick to argue, always looking for a fight and hard to please, you are trusulent. You can also write a trusulent essay and fans upset by a loss can become trusulent. Who freaking knew? I didn't. So that's been something that I've liked and I want to continue to practice in the future. And then informational media, I recently subscribed to like a daily newspaper and the LA Times daily and then the New York Times on the weekends and then the New Yorker also. Y'all, it has been so eye-opening and not even in the way you think. So in general, I think it's just like good to stay informed on things that like maybe you wouldn't normally seek out or like wouldn't come across your social feed because I think we are a very informed generation honestly more than any other generation and more I don't how do I word this more accurately informed too because we're getting like on the ground information versus like put through various levels of review from different people and different organizations and yada 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 all the bureaucracies we're getting very accurate just like straight from the source information so I don't even think like, I don't think our generation necessarily needs newspapers and things like that. I think that we're TikTok and stuff, TikTok, Instagram, I think are valid sources. You just have to like, you have to like be discerning on like what information you trust and stuff. However, I think newspapers are so, so eye opening into like, I don't know how to put this without sounding like a conspiracy theorist, honestly. So maybe I won't. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? But like, it's, it's interesting to see the media that like the general public America, your parents, your grandparents are getting if like they're listening to the news and they're reading the newspaper and like that's the only place they're getting their news. It's so eye-opening to see the spins that they're receiving, the interest interests that are at play that are like very obvious when you're kind of getting uh i don't know the the information we're getting on like tiktok and instagram and the perspectives we're getting on tiktok and instagram it's just very very eye-opening to see and so i think it's kind of important i don't know about important but if you care and you kind of want like a view a look at like all of the perspectives that are out there and like how other people are being informed how like the masses are being informed at least the older generations it's kind of it's kind of uh, it's kind of yeah it's kind of good and then like on top of that I think it's good for getting information about things that like you didn't think about like you didn't think to look up it just wouldn't come across your 40 page so like I just read an article about like how like LA is handling the Amazon corporate growth in the like LA government and how it's like how they're basically like bribing the LA government officials and stuff to like stay in LA it's crazy it's crazy like expand in LA and just like different different stories and not about like I think the LA Times and the New York Times are good about like covering stories like all over so so st staying informed about things that are not something that you would necessarily seek out I think that's kind of cool do I think it's absolutely necessary not really but it's kind of cool and it's like if you get to a point where like you're having a conversation with someone whose mind you're trying to change and that you have the capacity uh you're kind of equipped with a lot lot of information from all of your different perspectives and stuff to be able to um, kind of present things in the best way so that's why that's why i think print journalism not even print I mean, they like all the stuff is digital too but like just journalism is uh important sort of it is a nice addition if you're interested and the new yorker is like long form journalism and just like kind of thoughts and tidbits about random stuff which i think is really cool it's it's less like there's obviously no news based stuff in the New Yorker but it's a lot of just like culture commentary and like I don't know just a, kind of a lot of stuff about the world and <laughs> stuff stuff about stuff words about stuff it's kind of like Substack <laughs> all of Substack but like for stuffier older people and I, I think it's a I think it's a good one I think it's a good one they also have some crosswords too okay why was it I don't remember it being a couple days after I thought it was only like whatever okay fine 
informational media basically is uh the summary there so i just want to continue with that because like i said i like to set goals early so that i'm like going into the new year with these new practices so like i got all the newspapers and in subscriptions and stuff now so that i can like start doing that that's been nice also included in that is like getting back on the crossword wordle train i got off it for so long and i think it's a good way to like start your day so getting back on that and what else what else what else what else okay we can sell all these 144 we can sell y'all that is crazy Ooh, and 26 silver let's just sell all these okay sick and then classes wise i want to do dance ballroom classes i want to take classes on like storytelling and videography and building community there's also a book on building community i really want to read i forget what it's called but i have it in my good reads and then skills to hone again storytelling editing yeah so those are my goals, y'all. I know that was a lot of me chatting. I think I've been chatting for like 40 minutes straight. Eddie, I wish you so much luck um, in parsing through all of that, all of those ums and, and nonsense, but thanks so much. Okay, let's sell these, sell this. And then I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive. Oh, I need to put more grass outside, I think. I'm almost positive that we will have the other wine area done tomorrow. I think it's only two days apart. Oh, I didn't know you could put grass inside. Wait, after I'm done, I'm putting grass all inside everywhere. It's gonna be part of our celebration. Okay, we have this, we have this. Oh, I need to make this. Okay, that's the issue here is that I haven't made them yet. My goodness. Anyways, y'all, I hope that <laughs> I hope that that uh, like helped a little with like jump starting ideas, maybe question mark. I know a lot of them were very specific to like me and being a creator and things like that, but I hope some helped a little bit. Okay, early sleep and then tomorrow last day. Yeah, tomorrow's last day. We will hopefully be able to make more kegs and then ooh, look at them apples. Wow. Hopefully be able to make more eggs and <laughs> kegs and i hope our wine will be done five you guys were halfway there we're halfway there we're halfway there are we really halfway there we're halfway there that's so crazy that is so 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 crazy halfway there on episode 150 can i get a oh can i get a oh leia thank you so much you're the best leia my wife Okay. Ooh, we look at all the kegs we can make. Okay. So we're just out of, we're kind of out of everything now, <laughs> but that was a lot of kegs. We're getting better at like keeping up with the, with the keg making, I think. And I think buying is worth it. I think that the time spent in the mines is not worth the amount of things you get for it. Okay, pig. It would be nice if you got the, the things over here though. That would be nice. Silly. Billy Goober. How is there one down here? You pigs, man. You pigs are crazy. Okay, eat this. Eat these three things of grass, please. Oh, our barn is done. Yay, our barn is done. So we're going to have the new ostrich. We're going to have, we have auto feeding. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Ugh, life is good good let me tell you life is good our animals are how we have so many animals <laughs> it's so many i wonder if i will ever play stardew after this finishes <laughs> like i assume i will because it's truly like my com like i feel like i just know it backwards and forwards it's truly my comfort game but i wonder like in what circumstances like will i continue a little personal farm like what 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 would that look like you know that's my question okay dang and this isn't done yet y'all oh it's not done yet okay we've got four left boom 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 so one two three four and then do we have only space for one more after that i don't know hmm. we need to fix this row i mean i guess we don't really tech yeah we need to fix the row so we could do what four here and then basically one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen times four twenty so we need twenty more kegs to fill this room is that right because what do we do over here 
Oh, yeah. Okay. We just had a center situation. Yeah. Okay. So 20. 20 more kegs total. I think we could work on that. Let's work on that today. 20 more kegs total. That's it. That's it. And that's all. If we want any more, we're going to have to put them in freaking, I don't know, Timbuktu. 20 more, ke 20 more kegs plus uh went out here so 21 oh no because you know what i can get rid of the one that's outside of the other i have two kegs outside of the of the ones down there and i only need one once they're on the same cycle i honestly only if i put all of these on the same cycle i only need one so i'm ignoring that train notification things i don't need any more leprechaun shoes or sticks thank you though okay so let's how many do we need let's see let's do the math okay we have mm, 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 30 wood 30 times 20 is 500 is that right 600 <laughs> 30 times oh my god 30 times 20 <laughs> i need to be worried about multiplication tables okay i don't because i have a calculator okay so we need 600 wood easy peasy easy peasy i mean come on and then we need 18 copper bars 17 iron bars and oak resin is going to be the the main thing 20 oak resin but let's do the math on the 18 copper bars wait we have we still have a lot actually 120 divided by five is 24 oh so we have we actually have enough we haven't we don't need to go buy anymore we have enough okay well let's just keep making these throughout the next couple playthroughs we should be good to go we do need wood though we need wood and oak resin oak resin is just, it's simply gonna take a lot of time you can't can you buy oak resin at pierre's oh <gasps> wait 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 poo 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 come on poo let's go see i don't think we i don't think you can i think i've checked this exact thing before abigail do you carry oak resin yes or no caroline do you care carry oak resin yes or no a lot of help y'all are oh the fall is so uh no oak resin in sight how dare you i'm gonna kick over a box of potatoes on my way out oh the doghouse in the fall look at the little leaves on it oh remember when this was a trailer i mean this one trailer okay that's fine i don't even need oak resin i do i need it oh i do it's so funny. I feel like in the beginning, the days feel so specific and condensed. Like there's only so much you can do and you're focusing on like a handful of really specific things because that's all you can do. And then I feel like you're in this stage for the like whole middle part of Stardew where you're like overrun with possibilities, overrun with things to do. Like there's just, there's too many things in the day to do. And then towards the end where we are now, I feel like it's back, it's back in the same pacing as the, the beginning where you have like a feet like a handful of things you're working on and you kind of can only focus on those it's just it's different pacing and you know what i i don't mind it it's kind of a nice little bookend hey let's put this hay away hey hey put the hay away hey okay okay these are these are done what is that oh here we go here we go here we go here we go it's time it's time i'm gonna get the the big boy out not the big boy here we go it's truly time look at this look at this look at it go mm -hmm. all right y'all we gotta we gotta put ancient seeds in every single keg that we have on this literal farm i shall see you on the other side okay they're all full i'm gonna do this one next i'm also taking these out and putting them i'm keeping one putting one in here okay and then I'm filling this one, and then I'm filling the one up there, and then I'm putting the indicator keg, the alert keg, outside of the top one so that I don't have to go down here to see if they're all done. You know what I mean? Okay, are all of them full? All of them are full. Now I sprint up to the other one. This has been the most satisfying thing, letting them all <sighs> wait. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, put this outside. Do it last. No, I don't want those. There we go, y'all. Yay! Then the last one. So when that one goes off, we know they're all done. And I'm just gonna fill these with fruits. Oh, let's fill it with these. Why not? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Finally, they're all on one thing. So now if we really wanna do like rapid fire through the days, we started on the fourth. We know it takes, what, seven days? 
I'll have to look at a calendar because y'all know I just tried to do math and I couldn't do it. Okay, those are good. Okay, so next Thursday. I don't know if that's how it works. Next Thursday, like, night? Jody's birthday. Jody's birthday is when the next one will be ready. Okay, y'all. Oh, let me sell this wine. Okay. We've kind of got a system down. We've got the system down. And then once I do the math on that, once we figure out, because once we sell all of the wines that we make on the 11th, then I'll know exactly how many days we need to get to like our goal. Minus the, the ones in the basement because that's too complicated. Yeah, and then we can really rapid fire if we want to. But oh my gosh, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. I'm so proud. Okay, cozy corner time, y'all. Cozy corner time. Okay, first we have gaming for lesbians with, is this DDLV? Okay, I was like, paleo or DDLV? We've got DDLV and cute little Merry Christmas sign. I love it. Hi, friend. We've got cozy with Kayla with an adorable Animal Crossing flat lay. I love this. I love the thumb grips. We're, we're twinsies with thumb grips. Loving it. We've got pixels and pages with a little paleo. How has paleo been on Switch? Has anyone been trying? It. I haven't tried it yet. I'm planning on it, but haven't tried it yet. We've got the toad cottage with a classic toad cottage set up picture. I love it every time. I eat it up every time. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Nothing is better than stumbling across somebody's art of me. Like somehow I always miss them when I'm first tagged in them and then I stumble across it later. And it's just so cute. I'm gonna cry. Guys, Wayward Hummer, thank you so much. This is so cute. You've got like every single little detail. <laughs> Mushroom store in the loop. This is not my little Kayla doll. How did you do that? Oh my god, it's so cute. You even have my little camera in the loop. You have my little sunny angel baby. And I love, I love the little, oh my God, I love the little mushroom boy. That's the cutest thing I've ever. I'm gonna read the caption. I'm gonna read the caption. Oh, oh. Finally, here's my piece I did of Cozy Games. I've started watching her over about a year ago and her videos have always felt like a cozy little corner of the internet. Oh, I can always turn to when I feel like being a hermit or I'm just super overwhelmed with anxiety. Oh, I decided to do her little desk area since I think she considers it one of her safe spaces. Well, I do, bestie, I do. Thank you for understanding. Me. Oh my god, not on the mushy. He's so cute. I love this so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. 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 I'm literally commenting. Oh my gosh. That just that literally just made my week. I don't I did I did that. <gasps> Wow, made my freaking week. Okay, then we have, <laughs> this is so cute. We have Sashimi Siren with little Smisky Christmas tree, little Smisky Christmas tree, so cute. That one's for Ely, I know Ely will love that one. Okay, then we have Cozy Korok with some <gasps> little crochet. That's the cutest little crochet project. I love that so much. Ugh. Amazing. And then we have Poppy Meadow with this beautiful little room. This is a lovely room. Little book nook. So cute. This is a lovely room. I would love to just chillax in there. Cute, 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 cute. And then our cozy friends of the week are obviously Wayward Hummer. Oh my gosh, Wayward Hummer. Thank you so much for the cute art of me and my desk. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate the, the kind words too as well. Truly means so much to me. Like I can't even put to words how much it means to me when y'all express what my content means to you. It goes so far thank you thank you thank you thank you and then we have clean roses who's watching my cozy hobbies video but this was just like the cutest little cozy watching screening setup that i just have to include it and you know you never know sometimes they also watch the starty playthroughs so thank you so much to both of y'all also legolas because i forgot to screenshot the picture you sent me of watching the <laughs> i played lego fortnite with torchy and legolas like a couple days ago and they're like what are you doing after this i was like i don't now probably just like chilling and i was like what are y'all doing and they're like probably watching the starting playthrough it was on sunday probably watching the starting playthrough and then legolas sent ryan sent me a uh little different ryan legolas is ryan sent me a picture of him watching the playthrough after and it was really cute so ryan slash legolas is also a cozy friend of the week love you that's it y'all that's it i love y'all stay cozy cheers bloop bye <laughs>